Hi, in this video I will do a review of Angel Pro Poly Jelly Builder Pink. I did the prep to remove the surface shine and now I'm applying dehydrator and when it's dry I will apply non-acid primer. And as you probably noticed I already fit the form, I prefer clear forms. I apply gel directly on the nail, as you can see I'm not using spatula because this tube is just 10 milliliters, it's rather small so I think it's okay to apply it like that. And then I start my application with acrylic brush. And this brush is not a new one, as you can see it's rather old, it doesn't look fancy, but I love it and it works great. It's a Super Nail Acrylic number no. 8 brush. First I always do the cuticle application. Make sure the product there is thin, not only near the cuticle, but also along the side walls. And this product is very soft. That means you need to use a very light touch when working with the brush. You are not supposed to press on it. Just imagine that you have a whipped cream, so you don't want to break it. You just want to work with a light touch. And only when you need to stretch a product, you can press a little more. So when I'm building the free edge, I always do the shape and the side walls first and then with the body of my brush I work on the surface. So here we decided to do a medium short length. It is better to fix as much as you can with a brush rather than file it. So make sure you have the same length on each nail, the side walls are straight and parallel and the shape also looks the same on each nail. So now I'm working on the surface and the shape and the length is okay, but seems like a little product in the center is missing where we need to do the apex. So then I will need a spatula, I will take a small amount of this gel and put it right here where I need it. And then I'm working with the brush. By the way, they have a special liquid I'm using, the same one as the Gelish Poly Gel have to clean the brush, but when working with acrylic brush you don't really need it as much. Then we cure for 30 seconds, after that I carefully remove the form and slightly pinch it. First I'm using the tweezers for like a couple seconds. Now let me show you, if product is like this, this is the right time to pinch. And then I will install plastic clamp and cure another 30 seconds. There's no sticky layer. The nail is cured now and now we need to file it. The product feels so soft when you're filing, I would compare it to Gelish Poly Gel, maybe even a little softer. So when the product is soft, that usually to me means it would be just perfect for natural nails overlay, for short nails and for medium short nails. I'm not sure it will work great for extreme shapes, for extremely long nails, I haven't tried them yet, so it's just my suggestion, but we tried the medium length and it worked good. After four weeks there were not any broken nails or lifting. So when filing it's the same as when you're sculpting with a brush, a very light touch. Never use any coarse abrasive here, even 150 grit is just too much for this product. You will have too many scratches on the surface and then it just be bone possible to buff off all the deep scratches. Even with 180 you need to be very light and gentle. If you're an acrylic person like me, then after working with acrylic it might feel so soft that you just file back and forth and the nail is gone, so be careful here. Do not press too much, be careful and gentle with the cuticle. Sometimes I switch to my another 180, uh, which is older, so it means it's slightly softer, and now I'm buffing it with 220. After that we only need to remove the dust and apply the top coat or the color. As this color Builder Pink is translucent, we decided to apply the color. If you've been following me for a while, you might know that I already posted a review of this product and you guys told me that the prices are so high on this product and I talked to the company representative and you won't believe it, they actually changed the prices. Now they're lower and also if you will use my code NAILCO, you will get two free of charge bottles of gel polish. And this is the result, two coats of color and a top coat. Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time here consider subscribing as I post reviews and nail art tutorials every week. See you in my next video, bye bye!